muskies or any predator fish towards you know lions and african plains you know they're they're always laying around all day long hanging out till like one of them gets hungry and they go kill something so muskies are designed to grab stuff so if i can design a fly that's going to constantly show its profile to the fish it's going to trigger that fish to eat it more often trigger for muskies is the push of water that's created and that turn or change of direction. The more of the diversion of water that's created in the fly, the more the fly is going to swim. That complete T-bone, and that's the, hence the name of this fly, the T-bone turn that gives them that perfect profile to eat the fly. So an important part of this whole deal is you have to take a lighter and you need to um, you need to singe the ends here. Push this material all the way back over itself. And basically, you're turning it inside out. What I've done here is I've created a dam uh, of flex cord and then I'm going to have a, a big bump of thread about an eighth inch or so in front of this flex cord and creating this valley where the bucktail is going to set and spin around this, this uh, the dam or the spread.
tie two in on one side, two in on the other. It is, it, you know, with the long tail and the, the, the head pushing the water out, one of the things is it's coming at you, it'll swim, which is what they want to see when they're tracking it. If you speed it up quickly and, and, and stop the strip, it will always turn either left or right. They're always looking for the perfect opportunity to kill something. <laughs> 